Hi, this is Amit from Digital Inspiration and today we'll discuss some workarounds around verifying email addresses. Now, if you remember sometime back, I shared a tip on how do you validate whether a particular email address is valid or is it fake. So that tip involved you querying the SMTP server of a domain and based on the response of the server, you could figure out whether that particular email address exists on that domain or not. Now it was a slightly technical tip involving NS lookups and telnet commands and also it was not foolproof because not all servers may give pro proper responses. So today I wanted to share something very very simple. Let's say I'm trying to reach the CEO of a very popular social networking site but I'm not sure what his email address is. So what I'll do is I'll try various permutations and combinations that are possible. So I'll try first name at company name dot com, last name at company name dot com, uh, first name dot last name at company name dot com and a few more. So once I have prepared a list of all possible email addresses, what I'll do is I'll separate each of them with a semicolon and copy this entire list to the clipboard. Next I'll switch to my Gmail mailbox and uh, compose a new message here. I'll put all the email addresses into this new message and one by one I'll hover my mouse over each of these email addresses. Now as you can see in the right sidebar, as I hover the mouse, the associated uh, Twitter profiles, the Facebook profile and the LinkedIn profiles of that uh, email address will appear in the right sidebar if that email address exists. Okay, so for this email address it actually found a Facebook profile and we need to verify whether this Facebook profile actually belongs to Zuck. So what I'll do is I'll click the Facebook link here and it opens the Facebook profile but turns out that this profile doesn't exist so this is definitely not Zuck's address. So we'll try the other email address which is again pointing to a Facebook profile. Now this time it lands on the official Facebook profile of Zuck so we can be sure that marketfacebook.com is actually Zach's email address. To recap, you can always put an email address in the Gmail Compose window and if you see any associated social profiles in the sidebar, that email address probably exists. Thanks.